Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Ease, Memories of Celseta. Let's see where adventures can be taking us next. Okay, let's work our way over this way. There we go. Let's shrink ourselves next. And we have to head the other direction and get more of those fragments. So we're gonna go this way. What's just happening there? Stone. Oh. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Gotta chop down that nest over here. There we go. Oh, it's locked. Leave it to me. Another slight fragment. I think just one more to go. Okay, we've got two paths here, it looks like. Okay, there we go. Looking pretty good. Hey! <laughs> 
Okay, I feel like we went this way already, because we chopped these down. Looking good. Let's go this way next. Squished it again. <laughs> Every time. Let's check our map here. We've been going all the way around. I think we need one more fragment still. There we go. Swallow amulet. What is that going to do for us? Fence heavy. Well, that is good to know. Yeah, we already did this part. We go this way. have been this way before. Oh, 
Making sure we didn't miss anything in this little corner over here. Nope, we are good. Did we go? I think we went this way before. Let's go this way real quick. Do we have enough fragments? Okay, we still need this one. Where is that one though? That's the question. Where is that last fragment? You must have missed a turn somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. This way, maybe? Oh, this way looks new. Let's go grab that chest real quick. Yep, there we go. All fragments collected.
We were almost back where we were. And there we go. Save right here. And awesome. We did it. But what's that? Sound familiar to you, Adel? It's harp music. This is actually the first time I've ever heard one. Wait a minute, a harp? It's Remnos. I'd recognize the melody and the sound of the instrument anywhere. Remnos. I'm coming, Remnos. Just hang in there. Assume we're getting ready for a boss fight. I wonder if we should have one of our characters immune to heavy. Let's see, life ring. That's a good skill as well. Strength. Let's put on swallow amulet. There we go. Okay, what's waiting for us in here? going on here? Isn't he the one who hurt your dad back in Komodo? And you really... are you really the one who fought with father? Answer me, Remnos. You wanna fight? This is starting to look awful familiar. Uh-oh. He looks friendly. Okay, let's assume this might be a fight for Durin. We have Glucarius right here, the Great Squilla of Extermination. Ooh, how did he do that? Okay, no weakness, actually. Oh boy. Okay, pretty good damage there. Here we're getting four hits. side. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How long does this phase go for? Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Okay, we're into the second health bar here. Item for Durin here. Goodness. Let's get another potion here. There we go. And we're looking good. We're gonna get him here, and awesome. Lucarius is down. Looks like we won somehow. But this guy's stronger than any of the others. Looks like he's not saying a word. Who's that? Whoa. <laughs> You've served me well. After seeing the mask's power, I'd call this experiment a success. Well, she's not friendly. I wonder if she's working with that other dude who was trying to poison the water source by Cell Ray. Who are you? Who am I? I don't see why I should introduce myself to the likes of you. But I'm in such a wonderful mood today, I'll grant you your wish. I am Bami, a magician who controls people using the darkness in their own hearts. A magician who controls people, so that's what the masks do. <laughs> oh, don't go jumping to conclusions. I wasn't finished talking, and it's quite rude to interrupt a lady. In point of fact, the mask isn't what's controlling him at all. Rather, that would be my magic. Observe. Well, there's Remnos. Well, if you're the one controlling him, what's, then what's the mask for? Don't you dare say you made him wear it because you like the way it looks. <laughs> the masks are a necessary part of an experiment that has been assigned to me. It seems they have the ability to greatly increase a person's physical abilities. A strength boosting mask. I guess that explains how Remnos could pull off moves like that even when he's not a warrior. No, there's still something off about this. What do you mean? That's true. It is surprising that someone other than you two came from outside the forest. But I was actually referring to Rimnos' strength. The Rimnos I know isn't even as strong as those four we fought earlier. If he was still able. Oh, I think I see what you mean. Even with the mask, he still shouldn't be able to defeat your dad or control giant monsters. You three don't know anything about the poor boy, do you? What are you talking about? He's a naturally gifted warrior, much more capable in battle than you can possibly imagine, even without the mask. Karna. You still don't understand. Very well, I suppose I'll just have to be the one to teach you then. He's always kept his true capabilities hidden from others. Now why do you suppose he'd do a thing like that? Maybe so he wouldn't hurt his poor, hard-working older sister by letting her find out how much more talented he is. Well, that is not cool. 
I'm a magician who can find the darkness in people's hearts and use it to control them. And he is the latest whose darkness I've chosen to manipulate. I give you my deepest sympathies. Having a younger brother who's too skilled for his own good brings nothing but trouble. Why, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. I believe I've talked for long enough. There's far too much left for me to do to keep playing with you any longer. Oh no, is she taking Remnos with her? Still, I must thank you for one thing. I hadn't imagined I'd find something so useful in a place like this. Okay, we didn't get to save Remnos after all. So that man was Remnos, then. Ever since he was a child, the slightest effort was all it took for him to achieve whatever goal he sought. He learned the skills that taught him almost instantaneously, even the art of war and hunting techniques. However, he began to hide those skills from Karna, concerned by how she would feel if she knew, and eventually he had completely dedicated himself to music and crafts, because in those fields he wouldn't have to hold back for anyone. I kind of get where he's coming from. I have failed as a father. I'm sure Karna was shocked when she found out. I'm sorry, but I would ask that you leave her be for a while. I agree with you, of course, but it will likely take some time before she fully recovers from the shock. Hey, come to think of it, do we have any more leads to the identity of that magician woman? I'm afraid we don't. She's not from this area. Of that, I am certain. But I know nothing more. She said the masks were part of some sort of experiment, and she didn't seem to be anyone that the Governor General could have sent. The villagers who had disappeared have now gone back to their normal lives. Komodo, it seems, is beginning to return to normal, so this feels like the start of something much bigger. Perhaps we need to decide, as a village, what we will do from here on out. Adel, where do you intend to go from here? Actually, about that, do you know where Adel headed after he left here before? Not for certain, but I recall him mentioning a village on the bank of the river. I suspect he may have gone there. A village on the bank? Sounds like Selray. Alright, Adel, it's up to you. Where to next? I think we already went to the river, so let's return to Kaznan. If you happen to hear anything more about Remnos, please do let me know. I'm forever indebted to you for all you've done here. I wish you well in recovering your memories. Please know that you will always be welcome in Komodo. You can now accept quests in Komodo. Awesome. Okay, let's do a quick save here. Okay, if you take a look at our map, we do have a treasure over this way. We have treasure over that way. That's Cell Ray. I feel like we have to return to Kasdan for a while. But how do we get back there from here? If we go through this way down. Should be able to go all the way back. This this section as well. It looks like there is some path over here. Nothing to do with that. Let's go to the shop real quick. these guys again. We have reached our destination, the large tree. Aww. I'm exhausted. I'm so hungry. Oh, boy. We've been running in circles around the forest and chased by wild beasts thanks to the commander, so I totally get you. Fools! Commander Leo's pretty funny, actually. That was a survival training exercise, a device to prepare you for the possibility of being stranded in the forest. 
I'm pretty sure he's just lying to try to make it sound like it wasn't a huge waste of time. Always think positively. That's my motto. Hey. Hmm. Beats me a kind of illusion, maybe. <laughs> For that Adel fellow from the other day. You fiend getting ahead of me not once but twice. Consider this the last time. Now on the glory will be all mine. Commander Leo, a carrier pigeon has arrived from Governor General Griselda, bearing an urgent message. She's ordered our return to Kazan at once. We only just got here. What is that? What does she want now? We're returning to Kazan immediately. Yes, sir. Well, that's where we're trying to go to as well. Reminds me of a story I heard of that bar scene once. Seems he was a pretty famous general at one point. People used to call him Roaring Leo. I don't know what he's doing in Salsetta, but he's got enough enthusiasm energy for the whole army. Anyway, it might be a good idea for us to head back to Kazdin ourselves. Looks like we finished the map as far as the river, and something's obviously got the army all fired up. Plus, we should probably report with Governor General, so what do you say? We head back to the city? Yep. All right. Let's head on back. Yeah, there's no green ones. I need mean, that'll take us back. Closer to level 19. Good. Then we want to go this way next. Got a ruby, awesome.
Okay, looking good. Down this way, I think. Oh, it's these two. Explorer Beaver. Tent. Explorer Slash. Oh, these are different explorers, actually. Being able to take advantage of the other people's hard work is our reward for showing up late. That is funny. Kazan City, there we go. Awesome. Let's do a quick save. We could probably take on that bear as well, since we're already over here. Okay, let's see if we can find that bear real quick. I think it was this way. here somewhere. that bear go. I think it's over here. And there we go. Soul Breaker. Oh, that didn't feel good.
we're almost there. And we got him. Nice. Langritz was defeated. Okay, let's head on back now. Anything else over here? I don't think so. There we go. Okay, we're almost back. Probably a great stopping point for us. So in our next one, we'll head back into Kazanin and see what is happening in the city and probably talk to the general for a bit. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.